turn now to our coverage of the climate crisis and the historic move by the federal government to help save a key food source for tribes along an important waterway in the west. That's right. Salmon are facing extinction there, and this massive new dam removal project is expected to improve the ecosystem there. ABC's Kenna Whitworth has more. Raising five children on the Yurok Reservation, Molly still weaves baskets, cooks acorns, and wears traditional face tattoos. Keeping tribal memories alive is important to the whole family. There was a whole period of assimilation, right? It's like, don't speak your language, don't get your traditional tattoos, um, you know, like hide that you're Indian, just try to, you know, be in like mainstream white culture. And when they can, they fish reliant on the salmon that have run these waters of California's second largest river, the Klamath, since what the Yurok tribe calls time immemorial. The tribe now watching those salmon numbers dwindle. A couple years ago, fish numbers were really, really low. And we had about three cases of fish in our pantry. And so Frankie and I had just made the decision ourselves that, um, that we wouldn't fish. Um, in an effort to kind of let as many fish up the river as we could. Without the salmon, nearly 92% of the Klamath River Basin tribes face food insecurity and rely on federal government help. And as the western mega drought worsens, the water levels are reaching historic lows and temperatures too warm for the salmon to survive. Alarms have been going off since 2002 when 34,000 adult salmon were killed in the Klamath. Yurok tribal members turned their attention to the four dams holding back water along the river. Your entire relationship, in the time it has taken the dams to be removed, you have built a family and a life together. Yeah. Yeah. This month, the federal government gave the green light to remove the four dams along the lower Klamath River, a decision the Yurok tribe has been waiting on for years. This is the Iron Gate Dam, and the idea is to remove this one and the three behind it simultaneously, completing the project by fall of 2024, which would allow that year's fall Chinook to return to their original spawning grounds for the first time since 1918. But while they wait for the dams to be removed, the tribe is working year-round to restore the Trinity River, the largest tributary to the Klamath. So where we're walking right now, you said is the largest restoration project in the history of the Trinity River. That is correct. It's a huge cleanup effort of mine tailings from the what, 30s and 40s? Yep, yep, from the Oregon Gulch mine. And most of the work is being done by tribal members themselves. We met Alderon McCovey working the excavator, who says it's nonstop work that he feels a responsibility to do. Our people are salmon people, and we've always believed if the salmon ever disappear, then we're pretty much done. So we got to do what we can to keep the fish in the river, you know. By building up areas along the banks, creating structure and slowing the water, they've seen the numbers of juvenile salmon more than double. For Frankie and Molly, and so many more in the Yurok tribe, the dam removal means literally bringing life back to the river that they rely on so much. Salmon are a keystone species for the survival of this ecosystem that we're a part of. And if there ever comes a time when there's no more salmon in the river, then our ecosystem will have failed completely and won't be able to sustain our life here on this world. And that is not just for the Yurok tribe. Absolutely. That is for humanity as a whole. As a whole, 100%. And our thanks to Kana Whitworth for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.